Once upon a time in a small cozy village, there lived a young girl named Cinderella Dat. Her real name was Yelena, but everyone called her Lena. Ever since she could remember, Lena had lived with her stepmother and two stepsisters, Victoria and Polina. They were all very different from each other, but they shared one distinct characteristic. They were all narcissistic and selfish. Lena's father had recently passed away, leaving her family to take care of themselves. Life under their new circumstances was far from easy for Lena. Every day, Lena would wake up at the crack of dawn and begin her chores around the house. Her stepmother would yell and bully her, and Victoria and Polina would join in, making Lena's life even more difficult. Despite her harsh surroundings, Lena found joy in the small, seemingly insignificant moments in life. She would look closely at the petals of a daisy and marvel at their beauty, or enjoy the sunset's warm glow over the horizon. One day, as Lena was working in the garden, she stumbled upon a small magical spring. As she bent down to collect some water, a mysterious woman with an ethereal glow appeared before her. This was Lena's fairy godmother, who had been watching over her for years. The fairy godmother noticed Lena's love for nature and her kind heart. She decided to give Lena a chance to experience a brighter future. As the years passed, Lena's fairy godmother would visit her at her most difficult times. The fairy godmother granted Lena the ability to see the beauty in all things, even in moments of darkness. With this gift, Lena found solace in her trials and tribulations. Victoria and Polina, on the other hand, grew more furious at Lena's contentment. They saw her happiness as a challenge and looked for ways to weaken her spirits. One day, the king announced that there would be a grand ball to celebrate the return of peace to the realm. The entire kingdom was invited, including Lena, who had longed to attend such an event since her childhood. Victoria and Polina, seeing this as an opportunity to ruin Lena's happiness, conspired to prevent her from attending the ball. They stole Lena's most cherished possession, a beautiful old book filled with poems, and threw it into the fire. They hoped the smoke and ash would dampen Lena's spirit and make her give up on her dreams. However, Lena's fairy godmother appeared once more and used her magic to save the book from the flames. The fairy godmother knew that the book held the key to Lena's happiness and she would do everything in her power to protect it. With the help of the fairies who lived in the forest, she hid the book in a secret location where it would remain safe until Lena could find it again. Having lost an essential part of her soul, Lena was devastated. Despite her grief, she knew she must find a way to move forward. As she sat on the edge of her bed, she opened a small handmade treasure chest that her father had given her years ago. Within the chest were letters from her father describing the beauty of the world and reminding her to always see the love and light in any situation. Lena grabbed a piece of paper and a pen and began writing her heart out. She poured her thoughts and emotions onto the page, reflecting on her life and the beauty she had found in the little things. As the ball drew closer, Lena's stepmother and stepsisters began to plan their attack. They would make sure that Lena's happiness was thwarted once and for all. With the help of a few friends, they devised a plan to ruin the ball and make Lena look like a criminal. They stole her fairy godmother's wand, planning to use its magic to make Lena appear guilty of a crime she would never commit. On the night of the ball, Victoria and Polina waited for their perfect moment to strike. As Lena walked into the grand ballroom, her heart filled with hope and joy, they spotted their opportunity. Victoria confronted her, demanding to know where she had gotten the beautiful gown that she was wearing. Lena, confused, revealed that her fairy godmother had given it to her. In a fit of rage, 
Victoria grabbed Lena's gown and ripped it apart. They then proceeded to steal her fairy godmother's wand, casting suspicion on Lena for their heinous crime. Lena, now devastated and trying to hide her tears, was cornered by the royal guards. As she pleaded her innocence, one of the guards discovered her hidden piece of writing from her father and recognized the depth of her love for the world. He decided to help Lena, and together they chased after her stepsisters. In the midst of the chaos, Lena's fairy godmother appeared once more and using her magic, transported her to the secret location where she had hidden the book. With the book safe and sound, Lena's fairy godmother sent her on her way, promising to reunite them at the end of the night. As the night unfolded, Lena discovered the magical book, which her fairy godmother had replaced with a message of hope and love. The book contained a story about a kind and gentle girl named Cinderella, who found her inner beauty and went on to live a happy life with her prince. Lena realized that the story was about her and that her journey to find her inner beauty and the beauty in the world around her had given her the strength to persevere. She knew that her fairy godmother was watching over her and would be there to guide her through the challenges that still lay ahead. With the help of the guards, Lena was eventually able to prove her innocence and gain the trust of the king and the royals. The book, now returned to its rightful place, provided irrefutable evidence of her story. The king was so moved by Lena's resilience and inner strength that he decided to give her a second chance at the ball. He granted her a magical evening filled with music, dance, and the love of the people around her. As the night went on, Lena found herself dancing with the prince, who had been struck by her beauty and kindness. Throughout the night she continued to discover the beauty in the world around her, and found solace in the connections she had formed with the people in her village. The next morning, as the sun began to rise, Lena woke up in her own bed, feeling the warmth of her fairy godmother's magic surrounding her once more. In the weeks that followed, Lena's reputation as Cinderella spread throughout the kingdom. The people loved her story, and her light and kindness had touched the hearts of everyone she met. Her stepmother and stepsisters, realizing that their actions had only brought more love and support to Lena, decided to leave the village and start anew somewhere else. Lena's fairy godmother had given her the strength to persevere through even the darkest of times. And now, with her newfound fame and the love of her heart, Lena found herself living happily ever after.